Having spent two and a half years working in a foreign exchange bureau, I'm making a series of videos to share some of the coolest and most interesting banknotes from around the globe. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Today we're taking a look at the Canadian dollar, regarded by many as the absolute coolest set of banknotes in the world. And very recently, they got a whole lot cooler. But let's start with the current notes. This is the Frontier series, released from 2011 to 2013. Four out of the five denominations feature a former Canadian Prime Minister on the front, the only exception being the $20 bill which features the Queen instead, who's appeared on Canadian banknotes throughout her life. In the transparent window, a different building from Parliament can be seen on each. But it's a reverse of each note where they really get interesting. The space travel themed $5 sees astronaut Commander Chris Hadfield beside the Canada Arm 2, a 17 meter long robotic arm that has become a vital part of the International Space Station, whilst the $10 bill celebrates the country's railways, one of the great legacies of Sir John A. Macdonald, the Prime Minister who features on the front of the note. The $20 explores the themes of war and remembrance, including the Canadian National Vimy Memorial and poppies and the $50 depicts Arctic research and exploration with the CCGS Amundsen icebreaker. Finally, the $100 bill portrays the country's contributions towards medical science, including one of Canada's greatest innovations, insulin. Now, these banknotes are much more detailed and elaborate than I've just described, but hopefully this should give you an overview of some of their basic themes. But here's where it gets really cool. All five banknotes heavily feature maple leaves, running either side of the transparent window. But the clear leaf on the upper left of each note is particularly special. If you take a laser pen and shine it through the window, then the denomination is projected onto the surface below. How amazing is that? And then there's an urban legend circulating that the notes even smell like maple syrup. I've mentioned this in a previous video, and it seems to be a very contentious subject, with people on both sides adamant that they both do and don't smell like maple syrup. The Bank of Canada have repeatedly denied this, although when comparing them to other polymer notes, they definitely have a very different and much sweeter smell. Either way, Canada has set their own bar pretty high, and in 2017, they set it even higher releasing a special edition $10 bill to commemorate the country's 150th anniversary. Now, this banknote is literally teeming with symbolism and important features, including significant historical figures, architectural elements from the country's parliament, depictions of the country's different landscapes and environments, and various crests and symbols, such as Canada's coat of arms and the owl bouquet, designed by an acclaimed Inuit artist. Oh, and it even features the Northern Lights. And then right at the end of 2018, they somehow managed to top even this and release what I personally regard as the world's single coolest banknote. The very first thing you notice is that it's vertical, joining the likes of the Swiss franc, which have been portraits since the mid 90s. And secondly, it features a woman, one of the first Canadian banknotes to do so. This is Viola Desmond, a black businesswoman jailed for refusing to leave a whites-only section at a movie theatre in 1946. Her story helped instigate the Canadian civil rights movement, and today, Canada has undoubtedly become the world leader in terms of human rights. To her left is an abstract map of Halifax, where she lived and worked, and below is the vaulted dome ceiling of the Library of Parliament. The reverse features the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, and a section from the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. There's also an eagle feather representing truth, power and freedom. All in all, this is an incredibly beautiful and meaningful banknote, as can only be expected of Canada by now. And I cannot wait to see the rest of the series over the upcoming years.